Right, now comes the job most electricians detest. We put eight spotlights in this ceiling behind me. I'll attach a few pictures and a video now for you to have a look at. It was a mess, it was a mess. Every wall was uneven. Some walls were back to brick, some walls were plastered, some walls were studded out. So, so I've now got the job. I just spent an hour last night going through the footage on my phone and the pictures of marking out exactly where stuff needs to go. Uh, I took into consideration the back wall was bare brick. We put some patrices on the wall that we knew we nailed to the wall so we can get the measurement from the back of the back box to the flush part of the plaster, which was about 30 mil. The same thing with this side. Some of this was studded, some of it wasn't. Some of this was bare brick, some of it was plaster. So when I took the measurements for the video, uh, sorry, for the downlight, I made sure that I measured from the brick as best as possible. And if I ever measured from, let's say, a stud wall or the RSJ, which is behind you, I wrote that down in the notes before I did it. So we marked out, we lost four centimeters that side, 40 mil. We lost three centimeters that side. This side, we lost 12 centimeters, 120 mil. I don't know why I keep doing it. I'm just showing to you, I know the difference. Um, so yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna cut these out. Hopefully, get them in the right place. We've got our 20, 73 mil hole saw bit. We've got our Dade. We're using the JCC fire guards, which you've seen me use before. I got all the stuff for this job from Expert Electrical. Use my code Bundy10 down below for 10% off the order. I just double checked, it is 74 mil cut out. I've got a 73 mil bit, be absolutely fine. Wish me luck. Also, from the last video, my, my new power tools haven't quite turned up yet. They're meant to be turning up today or tomorrow, so we're still using the Bosch for the time being. Right, so we found it, which is good. The measurements are obviously slightly out from what we originally wanted. I'll attach a picture now. So what I do when I do down lights on an existing ceiling that's being overboarded, we do a four inch hole saw around. So when we do our new one, normally that's within the four inch hole saw, but it's half on the edge. So I know I'm very close to it, but not bob onto the exact measurements of what we had before. It shouldn't be an issue because I'm nowhere near every single joist. So we will just carry on drilling through the extra layer and then the downlight will fit in. But um, yeah, these things do happen. Can't be perfect at everything. Like I Sam. Yeah, so the same there again. Pretty much the exact same measurements. So it looks like I should have come in another 20, 30 mil, and maybe back towards you guys, another 20 or 30 mil but everything's in line, everything's square to what the true room is now, because before the room was not square whatsoever. So one of them, you learn with it. I've done this for 14 years now and still can't get it bang on right, but the finished product will be square to the room and it will look nice. The lights are in, as you can see. Uh, I've just had to nip out to took a parcel. Um, so I've left this bit out here, as you can see, which is the joint. So not only is it the joint, which is the switch cable down to the switch over here, but it's also the switch cable for the undercover lights. So we've got one, two, three. So we've got three supplies for the undercover lights, so we're gonna block them off. But what I've just taken delivery of is, like I said, the new MFT from QTech, and I think this is the EV charger as well. So we won't be using my Mega today, which again messed up after having it calibrated because I've had it a year, doing the newest update. Uh, it still messes up and says there's voltage on the earth when there isn't, and it won't let you perform any tests on that. So anyway, we'll see what Mega have to say about that. I did tag him on it the other day and they uh, ignored me, so whatever. Uh, so we'll give QTech a go. QTech have let me, this is a loan tester, so not giving it to me, but they said if I like it, and wants to replace my other MFTs, either be Mega or all the other ones, uh, and keep it. And it's got the EV adapter as well. So thank you very much, QTech. I'll be honest with everyone. So it's not, is it a sponsor video? I'll have to put it on there. It's a sponsor video anyway. So we'll unbox that in a little bit on this video and have a look at what it comes with. And we'll stick it in my new tester bag probably later because 
I haven't got it with me. Uh, so I've left this off so we can do some tests here, but we can obviously test through, we can link through live and neutral, test the earth, do an IR on that to make sure this is okay. There's a new feed solely for the kitchen, for the lights, and also a new feed solely for the sockets in here, and a cooker feed, which is an old one, which is down there, which was just jointed. So I'm gonna put this switch in now. I'm gonna move it across a little bit so it's still within zones. It's just that the cupboard is sort of coming to here. So with so the problem to what I've been told that the cupboard is pretty much sitting here. So we're gonna put the box over a little bit and the cables are loosely clipped to the wall. So we can sort of pull that within zones here. Architrude going on there. That's the plan. So we've got under cupboard light feed, uh, main light feed, and there's a two way switch, which is already wired up. So I wired it up the other day, but I don't have any brown sleeving on me. So we'll get that sleeved up today as well and get that on. So let me crack on with this. Then we're going to start second fixing the sockets and we'll get that all tested as well and get it lined up today. So the underfloor heating's coming in. So we're doing double socket down here. It's also a fast fix patrus going in for the underfloor heating view spur. And then we're doing a patrus up here as well for the uh, thermostat control of the underfloor heating. There's two runs going in. There's this one and there's also one going through into the dining room as well. Right, I'm, you're on the tripod, I might as well walk around with you. So, kitchen's now done, except for that socket. Just, yeah, anyway. Fast fix, all that sort of stuff, all that jazz. That's on, that's on, that's on, that's on, that's on. Okay, wicked cool. Right, let's unbox the tester. I know they're sending me the MFT, and I know they're sending me the EV adapter, which is really cool as well, actually. So on Mikey's channel, I think it was. So, I don't know if there's any other surprises in here. Long probes, all ready then. The KT66DL, which is that one. Yeah, and the EV adapter, which is there. All right, let's have a look what's in the boxes. I've never owned a QTEC tester in my life. I've had the continuity testers, and I'm, I'm, honestly, I think I've had about 10 sets of them. Uh, nine sets were left in people's lofts, 100%. And then the other set I gave away to a young lad training. Uno Bagus. Oh, oh, it goes, the zip goes down the side. Which is like the bag, it's, it's gonna go in a velocity one. Okay, optical adapter. Don't know. We have got a disc. I don't even know my Mac's got a disc. No, I can't put disc, okay. Uh, manual, insulation manual, leads I'm guessing, tester, and then we've got, well, it's little in it, I thought it was a lot bigger than that. Batteries, batteries, and then a strap. Okay, that's everything in there. There it is, comparison, I do have big hands, but there you go, so that will easily fit in my tester bag. The hard plastic lid is attached, can you pull it off? I better not. Continuity, insulation, insulation SPD, high loop, loop ATT, RCD, volts, and it's got the EV RCD uh, obviously function on it as well. Phase rotation, earth continuity, obviously we've got a nice little sticker on there. That's where our leads go in the back. That. Did you see that? I'm going to do it again, right? So the lid. Oh, it's got the lid and we open that up and we spin it round and then it sits on itself and clips in. That is a little tester, isn't it? I like it. Okay, we'll put that to the side. We've got our leads. Plug top. Yep. Brown lead. And the fact that actually the right colour cables as well, rather than a red one. Oh, that's self-explanatory what comes with it. That's cool, I like the tester. This is the EV adapter, so this is the SVSE testing adapter. See, the Mega one, I only bought the Mega one, even though I had a TIS one, because I'm a weird person, I have to have stuff that matches. But the problem is, is the leads and everything that comes with it, it's a separate pouch, which is the same size as the width of that anyway, for what is essentially a waste of time because you just plug a plug into a plug with type two. But this one plugs into the wall and then you just put your leads in the bottom. Very simple, sleek design. Very nice, that will come in very useful. Okay. Um, 
let me just get familiar with this and then we can go and do an IR downstairs and the sockets and the lights. We'll do our dead tests and then we'll liven up in the board and we'll do some live tests up here as well. Right, so we're down at our board. I couldn't figure out how to do the strap on this, so that will be for another day. Leads are nice, crock clips are nice. Uh, to null the leads, which I just figured out up there, obviously put the leads together. And there's a null function here. Oh, it's, I think it's, oh, it's measuring. I think it's because I already did it. Anyway, you click that and it nulled it. So it's 0, 0, 0.00. And you get used to this button. So you can hold it into test, or if you turn it, it holds the test on. So that's different. Uh, let's just do uh, insulation resistance here. 500 volts, yada, yada, yada. Sockets, let's go. Live neutral first. Sound. Live earth. Right, so to hold it on, you just spin it and do it. It's just going to go all the way. So, brand new socket circuit. So, you can do the test button, which is going to be nothing. I'm going to go link it through upstairs and see what that's like. Right, oh, I'll stop the wobbling. Blink that through. That is, is, is the screen being funny for you guys? Yeah, 0 0.45, R1, R2, and on the lighting, 0 0.21. Okay, let's get this in the board and we'll run you upstairs. Beautiful. We've got some flicker and are we okay? We look like we're okay. Uh, I'm gonna do some live tests now with this. We're going to think of a name. What are we going to call it? Because I'm not I'm a great fan of the, the KT66DL on the down low. Let's call it... Hmm. It's got some curves to it. Maybe we call it Adam's mum. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Adam's mum has got it going on. She's all I want, and I've waited for so long. Adam, can't you see? Your mom is the one for me. Sorry. Also as well, if, depending if I'm giving this back, it comes with little plugs in all of the leads. So what we're gonna do, keep them all safe in the bag. Awesome. Okay, slot that in, slot that in. This has got so many buttons and things that I have absolutely no idea about uh, because I've never used one before. I'm not keeping that. Okay, right. We're going to do, if I keep forgetting, you've got to turn it on. So we put it to loop ATT. It's on LPE three wire, and PE means protective earth, in case you didn't know. Plug that in there. Don't know how I feel about the, the whole twisty thumb action as of yet. 0.75. Okay, we, our end point is actually just down here, so I'll just double check with that one. Yeah, okay, I thought these were brand new out. I mean, I've just seen the date up here, it's 2019. So, really, it's a five year old tester now. Uh, it's been around a fair bit. Correct me if I'm wrong, Q Tech, but obviously that's what I'm, I'm seeing here if you buy it new. Um, yeah, I like it. Obviously, I've got a lot more time to spend testing it, seeing if I use it. It's the same thing when I got the Mega. I thought it was the best thing in the world when I first got it, uh, but it's over the past sort of, I was especially sort of three months that cracks have start been showing. We're getting weird readings. It told me I'd blown a fuse on it, which I hadn't done. I'll put a picture of that on the screen now. Um, it's the job with Mitch. This paired, absolutely fine, no problem at all. Like you say, the fact I've just got it calibrated and done the software update, and apparently there's a new software update any day now to do again. So you start, start to lose a little bit of faith in it. And I've had so many messages with the thing I put on Instagram about the Mega X1, where people have had exactly the same thing, may have been sending it back, Mega has sent it a new one. There's been no explanation about it whatsoever. And uh, someone said to me, he uses it as a paperweight on his desk because he's gone back to his uh, 1741 series, I think it was. So yeah, I like it, I do. Okay, I'm happy with everything that we've done so far. Um, last thing, I'd just rather address a few things. Um, I did a thing on Instagram a couple of weeks ago where I just started posting all the hate comments I was getting on YouTube. And most of them, you can just brush off it. It is what it is. Um, and then I've had someone emailing me constantly and then a few messages on Instagram and whatnot. Um, 
just to make everyone aware, I do not think I am anyone. I am the bee's knees, as someone called me, uh, what I thought I thought myself. Um, if you're new to the channel, the only reason I ever started YouTube is because I was depressed. I'd lost my dad. My best friend took his own life. Uh, something else happened, which I've never made public. Like, there's so many things. And I started this as a hobby because I had nothing else for me. Um, I started this and it's just grown into what it is. It never started off as a business. I've always said if you're going to start YouTube, start it off because you want to and you enjoy it as a hobby. And it naturally turned into a business for me. Um, I, I, the amount of self-doubt I have all the time. I grew up thinking I was sort of nobody. Everything that I was doing was wrong. Um, I second guess every sort of decision I've ever made while I'm making it. Not now. Like I believe everything happens for a reason. But I don't think I'm better than anyone. There's so many other electricians out there that are better. It's just I like showing you stuff of me doing things at work because I enjoy it. I like what I do, which is a great thing to say. A lot of people can't say that they enjoy going to and doing their own job. They, they, all my friends, most of them do it because it's a means to an end, to get money to live. I'm one of the few rare ones where I can say I enjoy going to work 99% of the time and I enjoy doing YouTube. So to everyone out there that says, look how he stands, look how who he thinks he is, especially these trade shows and everything. I do it because I like it. I feel like I'm a nice guy and I don't think I'm anyone. It's just turned into what it is. So just have some bit of care and consideration towards myself or to everybody else that you seem to message online because we're just normal people that seem to just have a camera and it works. So yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.